welcome back to crypto trends today i'll be showing you how to use metamask with various websites and exchanges first of all you're going to need google chrome because metamask is an extension added to google chrome once installed you'll notice a small fox icon in the top right corner of chrome with a single left click the extension will open up this is essentially your wallet for ethereum and ether tokens to set up an account all you need to do is generate a password then enter your password and you will unlock your wallet once inside your wallet, there's a few sections I would like to mention. First of all, your address is located right here in a shortened form. You can copy the address by simply clicking copy right here. This will show your balance right here in Ether and in US dollar. In order to send Ethereum to this wallet, copy this address or scan the QR code and send the Ether to your MetaMask wallet. If you've ever visited the decentralized exchange Ether Delta, you might have had trouble interacting with the site and noticed that it was probably a blank exchange, or you just couldn't trade. That's because in order to interact with Ether Delta, you need to have the MetaMask extension open and unlocked. In order to trade on Ether Delta, you first need to deposit Ethereum into your Ether Delta account. The same is true when interacting with the NeverDie exchange. When you open up the site, you'll notice that your wallet is empty. That's because you first need to click on MetaMask and unlock your wallet. If you want to move tokens from your NeverDie wallet to another address, first select which token you would like to withdraw. I should also mention, you do not want to send these tokens to anything like an exchange or any wallet that you don't have the private keys to. Also, some wallets are not compatible with these tokens. Your best bet would be to use something such as MyEtherWallet. When you send Ether tokens to MyEtherWallet, you also need to create a custom token. For details on how to do this, see my other video here. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and always take care.